What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's JP Dividends here bringing you guys another video and today I'm going to share with you guys my monthly update for dividends in my portfolio for the month of July. How these videos normally work is I'm going to share the stocks that paid me in July, then I'm going to share how much my total dividends were and how that compares to other months. Plus I'll share with you guys my total portfolio value and a little bit of change that went on there, what I deposited, how I did overall for the month. So if you got paid dividends in July, comment down below what stocks paid you. I'd love to hear what you guys are you know, getting paid from and let's jump into the video. All right, so the first stock that paid me is actually an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 and that's VU. I received $5.31 from them. And then I received $5.21 from Best Buy. And then my highest dividend payer of the month is Vici Properties. I received $56.57 from them. And then my monthly dividend being Realty Income, I received $9.80 from them. And then finishing it off for the month, I received $18.65 from JP Morgan. So if you add up all of those dividend payments, my total on the month was $95.54. Pretty dang good. And if you compare this quarter to last quarter, I was down about 4%, but the only reason for that is because my 401k holding paid me $10 in dividends. And right now my 401k is in the process of being rolled over. So I won't see those dividends until that's complete. But nonetheless, $95 for doing absolutely nothing, that's free money in my book. And then when looking at my total portfolio value, I'm currently at $37,610 as of August. August 1st, which that's an all-time high for my portfolio, which that's amazing. Part of the reason for that is because my deposits are starting to go up, which is nice. So hopefully we'll continue to see all-time highs, assuming that the market, you know, either stays flat or goes up. But I'm not going to be upset if there's a few down months along the way. I definitely like to buy the dip. And then also when comparing August 1st to July 1st, I was up about $3,433, which a majority of that is from deposits, like I said, because I deposited $2,519. So that remaining $914, that's from gains alone, just the stocks going up. So that's a 3% return in one month, which is really good. The past two months have been really good for me overall with just the market going up as a whole. It's definitely nice to have a month where you you invest a bunch of money and you know you hope it does well and then the market continues to do well on top of that so you know you're depositing a lot plus the market's working with you and so that's the overall goal and speaking of goals one of my short-term goals right now is to break above forty thousand dollars by the end of september and then more of a medium-term goal is to break above 50,000 by the end of the year. So got to be, you know, consistently investing in order for that to happen. But I will be talking more about that on my new series, which is going to be portfolio updates. So keep an eye out for that video, because that's going to be the next one I'm going to release where I basically just show you guys my total portfolio, how my holdings are doing, what I'm buying and kind of my overall take on my portfolio, as well as just the market as a whole. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.